to school at Washington State University. I studied wildlife ecology and I had an emphasis on ornithology, which is the study of birds, and ichthyology, which is the study of fish. My interests are basically outdoors in working with animals. I decided to come to California after I received the job with the California Condor Recovery Program. The program started in about the 80s and they were only left with 22 birds. People were using lead ammo um, for hunting and this lead causes lead poisoning into the condors when they eat the meat of like carcasses or wild animals. And now we have over 250 birds I believe and of those about 150 are in the wild. The condor recovery program is more than just saving the birds, it's saving pieces of land that you know that humans can't have access to which is really important to our ecosystem. We have a really hard work schedule. We work 10 days on and 4 days off and on those 10 days it's not like your average 8 to 5 work day where you go home at 5 o'clock. It's like full on from 4.30 in the morning waking up to do morning observations till like 9.30 at night when you have to put cow carcasses out for the condors to eat the next morning. It's like right now, I just got off a 14 hour shift for one day and I'm pretty stinky from collecting cow carcasses so we can feed the condors. He's a big boy. Working so many hours and putting so much time into this program really puts your heart into it. It does have its difficulties, like living out of a car is probably the hardest thing, not actually having a home. We just have to basically live out of suitcases, and when I come to Ventura, basically live out of my, my truck, and my truck is my closet, my truck is my refrigerator. Sometimes it can be even where you sleep. One of the four nests you have to camp at, and so sometimes we'll hike out there. Um, it takes about two hours to hike out there, and then we'll camp there for about four days. Um, we do a lot of nest observations and we do signals to locate the birds to make sure that we have a count for them. And there's a flight pen and the flight pen is for birds that came out of the zoo. They haven't learned how to fly yet so we keep them in the flight pen. We have to do observations on them to make sure that they're healthy, make sure that they're eating, try to get weights for them. There's nine birds currently at the flight pen so it keeps us really busy. We get to capture birds and we have to weigh them. So that's, that's a really cool, exciting experience because you actually get to hold the bird and be up close to it. Some perks of the job is four wheeling around the wildlife refuge and hiking. Um, hiking's really exciting. And just being able to see so much wilder, like wilderness. We have some black bears. One actually attacked my tent when I was camping out for four days and it broke it into pieces which was funny and it left a little paw print on there. My ultimate goal um, after this internship is to hopefully work with like another endangered species but also this position may lead me into working at a zoo. This internship that I'm doing um, only lasts six months but the program will last forever until the condors can fully recover. Despite all the hard work we put into, all the long hours, out of living out of my car, out of you know just working like 14 hours a day, to realize that you know we are putting effort into conservation is totally worth it.